Hi, Joshua. This video has a possible trigger warning. I just wanted to be honest and share with you guys what's difficult about loss. You can probably relate to this if you've ever lost someone precious to you. Joshua is cracking me up when I'm in the midst of dealing with sad emotions. Um, so my big boy has long since outgrown his high chair and his bassinet. He's already moved up to a toddler bed. He's a big boy. He's 17 months, but he climbs on everything. If I put him in this high chair, he would not stay in it. <sighs> okay. So what I'm having difficulty with is packing up and putting away this high chair and this bassinet. I, 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 I'm just putting them in the attic. I'm just saving them for possible future babies. But the thing that's difficult about this is, in my mind, these are already Gabriel's. I was leaving these out because Gabriel was going to use these. Well, we're in January. Gabriel passed away in August. And I haven't put them away yet because they were for Gabriel. <laughs> and um, now I'm packing them up and I'm putting them away. It was hard um, disassembling the crib and putting it away. But it wasn't as hard as putting this away. Um, I also put a bouncy chair away and I'm going to be putting a walker away. It's just difficult. Um, that, that's something about loss. It's, it's weird. Grieving's strange because some things that you'll expect to hit you hard don't bother you. And then other things that seem so simple as just folding up a couple things and putting them in the attic, they just... I've been putting it off for months because it's like fully acknowledging that he's gone and that he's not coming home. Yeah, brother, and I honestly um, am a little bit traumatized. I'm glad I had my three kids before this happened because I'm a little bit traumatized about pregnancy and birth and um, not ready for another baby. So in a way, putting it away means I... I'm not going to have to go through that soon. Like, I'm glad I'm not pregnant right now. That might sound weird to you, but, like, I'm glad that I'm not expecting right now because I, I'm not ready for it emotionally yet because I lost a son in such a traumatic way. Um, but putting these away just, it means he's not coming home. And I know that's weird because he died in August. And it's January. But a couple of days ago, we just passed his due date. So it's like I'm finally acknowledging he's not coming. Here comes my sweetheart. Thank you, baby. This boy. This boy brings me joy. But I feel sad for him that his, his little brother's not coming to play with him anytime soon. Or ever. Yeah. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Anyway, um, sorry. Thank you for listening to me about that. I'm sorry to be depressing. But um, I think making videos like this is helping me a little bit process it. Um, just saying it out loud. And, you know, this might help someone else that is grieving. Just to know that... It's okay to have sad emotions about things like, you know, if you have a loved one that had a house, it can be traumatic having to pack up their house. I had to do that with my mother. Um, you know, having to go through their things. And Gabriel didn't have things. My kids are playing and they're screaming a little bit. I'm sorry about that. Um, but Gabriel didn't have that many things but he had hand-me-downs that in my mind were already his and these are a couple of items that were for Gabriel and I've been just having them sitting there in the house waiting for him to come home and now I'm putting them away and that means he's not coming home And that might sound crazy, like, because obviously I should know that by now, right? But I guess there's a part of my brain that was just leaving, leaving them out for him. Leaving them waiting for him to come.
but he's not coming. He's he's not coming. If you are grieving, you're not alone. It's grief is it comes in waves. You can think that you're fine for two months, and then you're organizing your house, and you realize you have to put some things away, and it hits you again. Deborah, are you coming to give me a hug? Yes. Can I have a kiss? I love you. Are you my good girl? Yeah. Oh, give are me a kiss. Are you crying? I'm okay. Can I have a kiss? Thank you. Bye bye. I love you. God has given me sweet children, and I'm so thankful that I didn't lose Gabriel with empty arms. The Lord hasn't left me with empty arms. My arms are full and so is, so is my heart. But it's okay to be sad sometimes. It's okay. The Bible says there's a time to weep and there's a time to mourn. The Bible also says weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. So this is a message to you if you're mourning or grieving. It's okay. It's okay to be sad. Allow yourself to be sad. But also allow, allow yourself to be happy again. All right. Thank you. Don't feel concerned or worried about me. Like I said, grief comes in waves. I'll be fine again in five minutes. <laughs> Joshi. Joshua. Come here. You cute little baby. I'm blessed with sweet children. Goodbye.